Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to my first look here at Thief Simulator. This was sent to me by Playway. Um, it's been teased for a while but we finally get it. Now it's um, a pretty interesting game as you can tell by the name. It's obviously we are, we're a thief and we got to break into people's houses and try and get some stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see. A little bit different. I thought we'd do it on the downtime of the channel. So let's go ahead and check this out. First of all, we're here on the uh, main menu of course. We've got options. I've gone ahead and turned the music off so there will be sound in a second. I've also turned off motion blur. Personal preference, I don't like motion blur. Not just for this game, any game. I turn it off in any game. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, the actual game. I've not played a single second of this just yet. So I have no idea what to expect. Once again, this is a first look. So you're getting my first look and first opinions of the game as well. Okay, so um, obviously this is our first, this is like a tutorial mission, so uh, if you guys want to play through this, it'll be not the tutorial version, obviously, but we're going to go ahead and use this one today. Uh, can you use this? Oh, we can put it there, maybe? Uh, tab to quick slot, there's our crowbar there. Um, break the planks, we could have just, okay, we jumped over that fence, that wall to get here, we could have probably just jumped over this one, but let's go ahead and uh, do what it wants. There we go, probably would have made a bit of noise, now everyone in the street knows we're here. So we jumped over that wall that's actually bigger. You know, we had to knock down a fence, but... Anyway, let's go ahead and head to this house. Can we crouch? Um, sneak is C. Um, we've got some... A few controls up there in the top right. We can crouch. There we go. Oh, there's somebody um, next to the window. So they are highlighted. I'm not sure if that's just the current difficulty level that we're on, or whether you can in general. But she's looking out the window. Can we sneak past this window here? Yes, we can. <clears throat> So just above the map down there in the bottom left, we've got a noise indicator by the look of it. So we have to make sure we don't um, obviously make too much noise. We have to avoid the light as well, and that will be the visibility one just to the right of that, I believe. Um, we also, in the bottom right, have a backpack with a dollar. Oh, there's a guy there. That's why we had to avoid the light. Pretty sure we've just seen this anyway, but let's go ahead and go through here. <coughs> and then you call us again. Hey, some <coughs> dope left a flashlight on the ground. Take it, but don't let nobody see the light and call the cops. Right, so there's a flashlight on the ground, apparently. Sounds a bit convenient. I'm assuming they've left it for us. Let's go ahead and pick this up. And put in bag. And we can go ahead and choose quick slot for this. Let's go ahead. Yes, we already, you've already told us how to do that. Yes, you've already told us how to do that as well. Yes, you've already told us how to do that as well. Right, so we want the flashlight here. We're going to put it onto... We can't actually put it on the quick slot. Maybe it's already there? Maybe it's a uh, control. <clears throat> okay, so F is just to turn on the flashlight. It's just attached to us at this point, so we don't need to put it onto a quick slot, which is good. So we're actually in the end house now. Break the window. Seeing there's a guy out there, is there not another way to do this? We've literally just saw a guy sat at his table. Or south side, so he's definitely going to hear this, but the game wants to do it, so we're going to go ahead and do that anyway. Let's go ahead and break this. Can we interact with the window? No, it's locked. All right, there we go. And uh, can we crouch and stand up? <laughs> open slowly, hold E. So you can open it quickly or open it slowly. Of course, we're going to go for the, um, the slow open. We don't want anyone to hear us. Let's get back into crouch mode here. So... There's a hiding spot under the bed. Looks like you can hide. Uh, we don't need to hide at this point, but we're going to go ahead and see how, what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and press E. And we're just under the bed, so that's pretty cool. And we can also toggle the fra flashlight we're in here. So uh, good job. Time to redistribute a little wealth. Alright, so now we actually get down to the thief part of this. So we're going to go open slowly. Once again, we hold E to do that. Or you can just press E to get open it properly. There's nothing in there. Let's go ahead and close that. I can hear somebody. I might have to turn this up in Premiere so you guys can hear there's footsteps currently going on. I need to keep an eye on those footstep sounds. Nothing in there. So once again, big thank you to Playway for sending this to me. These are the guys that publish Car Mechanic Simulator. And, uh, what else was it? Gold Rush is them as well. Really good... Uh, Publishing team. They're not the devs, but they are the publishers. Let's turn this light back on it so you guys can actually see. I don't think there's anything in any of these, but better to be safe than sorry. Ah! We found some money. There we go. Let's go ahead and put in bag. Only $5, but $5 is $5. Ah, $15 that was, sorry. I thought it was only 5 So now we have the total hauling amount in the bottom right corner there. Flashlight. Your flashlight will help you see and loot in the dark. Remember, you are easier to detect with a flashlight on. Well, obviously, we've got a torch. 
Let's go ahead and close that. So that's the last one here. Um, is there anything in the plant pot? Nope. Just a heads up, I'm really bad at games, I guess, in terms of looting. As in, I like to loot everything. Like Skyrim, all the games that you can actually loot on. Teapot? Why would you steal a teapot? Whatever. I'm not sure why that's... It added no value, but let's put it anyway. So we can put... You only get XP for these. I'm not going to bother looting everything. Because I think that's a little bit of a waste of time. Uh, also, why are there plates and stuff in the bedroom? It makes no sense. What we're going to do now is turn off the flashlight whilst we open this door here. Steal some stuff. Okay, there's some more money on the side here. Um, whole toaster. It looks like you can loot pretty much everything. It's just up to you what you want to loot. Let's go ahead and stand up again here. There's nothing in that one. Anything in that one? Nope. Let's go ahead and close that again. Let's open this one. So yeah, from what I've seen on the trailers, you can even like steal cars and stuff, which is pretty cool. So hopefully we'll get to that at some point. <clears throat> Right, we're going to go ahead and close the door. I like leaving things how we found them, personally. Um, let's get the flashlight turned off again whilst we go into the next room. This is the bathroom. Uh, nothing in here, I don't believe. Nope, nothing hidden over here. Okay, so the bathroom's completely empty. We can check that one off our list. Close the Now, I did hear footsteps a minute ago, so we want to be careful here. This is lockpicking. Door locked. Can we actually lockpick this? No. How do we get past that? Maybe. Open the door wrong. I forgot to pro D. Okay, let's put that down slowly. Oh, that's the front door. Really? We're not leaving here with $30, are we? Let's do some stuff. Maybe we... will just get... Oh, we had to get the toaster. Fantastic. Time to bail, man. Get in the car. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar. Um, let's climb out this window again. How do we put the crowbar ways? Do that. Open this gate slowly. And now we're on the street. Get to the car. Where is the car? Looks like it's around the corner. There's a good person there. But we aren't the crowbar, so it's okay. And Oh my gosh, we're not very good thieves. Look, is that the car we've got? Right, let's go ahead and jump into this. We'll have to open that slowly. It's our car. Get in is E. So here we go, we got some sort of driving aspect to this. Hopefully we actually get to drive as well. There we go. Um, can we put the lights on? There's no lights in the car, which is interesting. Unwanted detention. Okay, that's what we just did. We put the crowbar away anyway. Change camera. We have got a third person view here if you want. Well, I'm going to queue ahead and stay in this. Um, that's just what we've got on us. All right, let's get out of here. Drive out of the location. Well, we're in America, so I need to drive on this side of the road. I believe that's the first one done. So okay, that's the first mission done. That's a bit of a tutorial mission. That was a bit rubbish. But here we got the little overall. We got the uh, summary. Sorry, not. Uh... So we got the crowbar. Obviously, we have got nothing for them. We only got ten. We got twenty XP for the whole mission, but we got an A for that. So we must have done something right. So this is obviously our workshop. And let's go ahead and see what Vinny Good says job, again. Man. This just might work. Go get some sleep, and we'll pick this up in the morning. Right. So we're sleeping on the couch. Here we go. Let's go see what the next mission is for us. Right, 7 a.m. We can go ahead and actually sleep, which is pretty Check cool. The computer. There's a few things I need to tell you. Okay, I'm trying to check the computer, but it won't let me. Um, hello, game. Uh, I'm an idiot. It's this computer. God dang it! <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I didn't even see Tools this. Tools for thieves let you buy new kit online, but you that might sounds not like a have bit of a dodgy website. To use them all. Click on steal your forum. Okay, steal your forums. Here you can buy secrets. Hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it, who leaves the door unlocked, whatever. Check out... Okay, so Greenview 101, which is not actually here. Um, These are all free, so we're going to go ahead and buy all of these for now. Right. Now, go to your car. 
Will do. So we're going to go for our next mission. Now, hopefully this one's a bit better. The last one was just sort of like showing you the controls and stuff. God dang it, Vinny. You loot at the pawn shop first. You'll need empty pockets at Greenview 109. Okay, so we need to put this back into our bag. Looks like we're going to be looting it first. And um, I'm not sure if this is open world or not yet. We'll soon find out. And um, I believe it might be, kind of. Um... Right, uh, pawn shop. There we go. Okay, it's not open world. It's kind of open world, as you saw earlier. We drove away from the house, but um, let's go to the pawn shop here. We'll get. Welcome back. Oh, you're welcome, my brother. Right, so let's jump back into our car here. Um, interact with the steering column. And we're going to go to Greenview Street. So, like I said, hopefully this will be a bit more interesting. The first one was a little bit boring, but it's a pretty interesting game so far. I didn't say boring, but it's more like showing you the controls and stuff. So, hopefully this one we actually get to get down and dirty and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool game so far. I'm enjoying it. I like stealth games, so... I believe this is where the, uh, the free roam aspect comes into this. Still an old TV from Greenview 109. 109 is that this way. So, it looks like on the map there we've got the numbers. These all must be Greenview. Okay, that's Greenview 109. Isn't that where we just came from? Is that next door? That's next door to where we just came from. Okay, what we're going to do is park up here again. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to park facing outwards so we have a quick escape. Should we need it. Whatever, we'll jump out the car. The door going to close automatically? Close. Can we climb over this fence? Okay, so we're going into stealth mode here. It's broad daylight and we're doing this, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and knock this fence down here. This one was slightly damaged, so I'm assuming this how we get in. I was going to try and jump over the fence, but it wouldn't let us. Um, so there's the old TV. I can see it through the wall. Let's see if we can find a way in, a quiet way in. Once again, it is broad daylight, so the neighbors might be able to hear us. But apparently there's nobody in right now. So uh, it's locked. We don't actually have lock picking just yet. You can get lock picking unlocked. Um, I'll tell you what, let's just... Where should we get in? Should we go through here? Oh, okay then. <laughs> Go ahead and climb through here. Where he managed to land in the bathroom. We must remember that for when we try and escape in a second. Obviously, there's nothing in here. Can, oh, there is stuff in here. Take that back. Who leaves money on the floor of their bathroom? Me, actually, in real life. Usually, it just falls out my jeans when I get the uh, shower and stuff and leave it. Um, toasters. I'm going to probably get rid of that in a second. It's taking up quite a lot of room. Saucepan. Um, we are actually going to turn the light on just so we can see a little bit better for you guys on the video. Right, there's nobody in. We know this, but I still want to be quiet because there are neighbours and stuff around, obviously. And um, looks like there's a key in here. Let's go ahead and uh, see what this key's for. Front door key. So if we ever need to come back, we now have the key to that. I'm not going to bother selling that unless we put it on that forum that we saw a minute ago. This is some sort of safe. Yeah, there is. With fifteen dollars in it. Let's go ahead and close that. We're open this. Nothing in here. Take that as well. Now, we actually have to put big items in the car manually by the look of it. Oh, maybe this is why we have the front door key. Right. Use the key on that. There we go. So let's go ahead and carry the TV again. We'll turn the flashlight off here. We... There's a guy there. Let's just wait. Okay, it looks like he's alright. Let's go ahead and put this around the back here. Now what I want to do real quick is drop the TV there. We'll put the crowbar away. Where'd that guy go? Okay, he's on the other side of the road. Let's open that. I don't want to be seen chucking a TV on the ground, that's the thing. So let's go ahead and put this into the boot of the car now. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm going to leave the boot open, actually. Hopefully no one will steal, the, us, steal it off us. It'd be a bit awkward if the, uh, the thief got stolen from. 
Right, is there more stuff in here? I can see some stuff being highlighted. Looks like there's something in here. I'm now stuck behind the door. Actually, that was that, that's the fence. Okay. Okay, I believe we've looted the whole house now at this point. So, is there anything in here? We've already looked at that, haven't we? Yeah, that was where the key was. Oh, no, the key was... I can't remember where the key was. Um, seeing as there's nothing else in here, we're just going to go ahead and steal everything that we can. Um, we'll take it to the pawn shop in a second. Like so. I believe that's everything. Cool. Let's be polite and close the doors after we've robbed them, yeah? And I believe... Actually, was that something... What did I just see? There was nothing there. Okay, let's head around the back. Head out the back fence. We'll get the boot closed here. And we'll get out of here, shall we? Load it in the car trunk. Uh, drive home. Uh, how do we do that? Then we just drive out the area, basically. Right, so let's see what we've got for this. We've got, uh, remember to spend unused skill points in the skills tab. I looked that a minute ago and there was nothing in there, so we've also got our first skill points. We've got an S for that. Not really sure what that means. <laughs> um, but we've got the old TV, we've got the saucepan, we've got two saucepans actually. We've got the front door key, which we should have put back, but we've got it now for future reference. Old toaster as well. well that's pretty much everything we could have looted. I see you got my screen. Go to Black Bay. Go to what? Um, let's take the TV upstairs. Not sure if we need to, but let's plop you down there a second. Let's go back onto the computer. Go to Black Bay. Uh, Black Bay. I set up a page on there for the TV. Go there and sell it. Okay, we'll do. Um, electronics sell old TV. Uh, good. Uh, now here rent you can thug. find a little extra work. I put one on there just for you. The one with the dishes. Break their dishes. Okay, so this one's not actually stealing. It looks like this one might be vandalism. Okay. Bit weird. Now, drive, drive to, one... to 110 and break some dishes with the crowbar. That's a very weird mission, but it's going to give us $50. We'll do it. So let's uh, head back in to the guy. Let's get our boot closed. Um, get open this. So this one's more of a vandalism job, which is a bit strange, because the game's called Thief Simulator. Um, Greenview Street. So we're going back to here. Was it... It was 110, wasn't it? 110. And break some dishes. That's a little bit of a weird mission, but never mind. Okay, so 110. I can see it on the map already. We're going to take a left here. I'm not going to bother sticking to my side of the road. There's no other cars on the road anyway. Looks like we are the only ones. It's quite a busy area, this. 110. That's the one we... That's the one we did earlier. Alright, love, you're walking through a hedge there. What I'm going to do, actually, is drive down this little uh, alleyway here. Yeah, this is a good place to stop. Can we jump over this fence? No. Why can't you. They need to add jumping over fences. Okay, so this is the house we started off in. This was the first mission. Um, do we have the door key yet? No, we don't. Is that window still broken from earlier? Yes, it is. That's quite realistic. It didn't repair the window. Um, break dishes. Uh, we're going to and steal that saucepan, no? I didn't empty my bag from last time. Dang it. Break some dishes. This is why there's dishes in here. I just heard you don't even know how to pick a lock. Go learn the basics. I'm oh. sure you've got enough skill by now. Probably, mate. Inventory full. I should have unloaded my bag. Dang it. Anyway. That was it. That was our mission done. We got $50 for smashing a few plates, which is uh, 
bit interesting. Let's go ahead and close that door. Don't mind me, mate. Smashing some dishes. Let's get back into our little Honda. And we we'll head back to the base. Thank you, monsieur. I want to sell this toaster to you. And the saucepan, and the saucepan, and the saucepan. That is all. Thank you. Alright, now we'll head back home. Right, okay, so let's go to... Uh, here we're going to go to skills, and we want lock picking, which is this one. We'll go ahead and learn that. That's all of our points gone now. Oh, Vinny, right. stop ringing me. Now, go like an annoying buy girlfriend. A DIY simple lock pick on tools for thieves. Okay, tools for thieves, DIY simple lock pick, which is a screwdriver and a hair clip bollock of it. Each to their own. Oh, Vinny, Before please. Before you get yourself into trouble, try it on a training lock. I left one in the garage. Okay, so we have a training lock here. We'll get to see how the lock picking mechanics work on this. Very Skyrim y. It actually is a bit like Skyrim. <laughs> or Fallout 4, more specifically. We did it. It's pretty cool if you ever played Skyrim. You did a Skyrim. good job on that old TV in the empty house. For a real job, you gotta scope the joint. Go to 111 by 7 a.m. and watch. Right, so I did that completely wrong. It's actually been about half hour in real life. Um, I came here way too early. I thought it said before 7 a.m. It was around 7 a.m. So I've been sitting here doing absolutely nothing. I need to wait for them to leave the house. Um, I also just found that you could sleep in the parking lot. It's only just popped up. I wish I knew that before I waited here for half hour in real life. <laughs> um, so now we've got the parking bays before at least. So you can sleep uh, down here if you want to in your car. So we have to wait for them to leave because there's a box in there. That Lenny wants. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for him to leave the house. The one thing I have noticed about this game is no one seems to sleep. I even and because I was obviously waiting for half hour, I went and had a look at some of the other houses. Um, I'm too low level to break into them right now, but no one was asleep. I don't think there's even any bedrooms in these places. I know we saw a bed a minute ago, but um, yeah, no one seems to sleep. I don't know if it's just these because they're like s scripted into the storyline. Um, but yeah, there was people just walking around at, like 4 a.m. in the morning, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. Just gonna wait for these guys to leave the house though, and then we'll try and get that box. So they said around 7 a.m., so it should be any minute now they'll be leaving. 69, 7 a.m. Um, okay, so I think the game might be glitched out a little bit here because I've been waiting for this woman to go out and she sort of just stood by the door. Uh, but it says she's out, as you can see up at the top there. So that's now completely ruined. So we've got the police after us. There's the police. Let's see if we can get out of here. So yeah, it said she was out, but she was still stood in the house. So I think that was actually glitched out a little bit then. But we're going to try and get out of here real quick. You are hideous. Alright, so we're back at the house. It was glitched out because I've come back and she's still out. Well, she's now not spawned. So we can go ahead and break into this house here. We'll find this sweet spot on this lock, which is pretty easy. Of course, there's only a level 1 lock. I'm assuming they get harder. Um... We're going to go ahead and loot the place as well, though. We didn't just come here just for the box. Uh, so we've got a radio, which was we saw on that um, Pirate Bay website thing a second ago. The Thief Bay or whatever. It's called. I can't remember the name of it already. It's been a while. It's been about 40 minutes since we went on that website in real life. But if you guys would have been a couple of seconds. Some of the storing beer cans in the uh, wardrobe as you do. Okay, there's nothing there. Nothing there. So can we open that one? No. Um, you can do the scoping out a bit more in depth if you want, I believe. I think you can wait to see what time they come on and see how much time you've got. We're not going to do that. We are just going to chuck that on the ground for now because that is going to be needed to be put in the back of the car. Um, why not? We'll take the saucepan as well. Um, where's that box? It's in here. Okay, so I'm not being quiet this time because we know that nobody is in just yet. What's in this box? Box with shady content. Hmm. What do they have that's shady? That is the question. Um, can't steal anything else. I think we've pretty much looted the whole place right now. There's no sh um, drawers or anything anywhere else. I need some tomato ketchup. Should we get that as well? Right, so let's go ahead and get that open. We'll pick up the old TV. Now, we need to make sure, of course, that nobody catches us do this. Let's go ahead and put the TV down there. We'll close the door. Let's get this gate open real quick. Get the boot open. There's nobody coming right now. I can see that on the map. So we need to do this before we see any of those white uh, visual cones coming in, which is what I like to call them. Just chuck you in the back there. Close that door. And it's like nobody was there. Um, still the important box from 111. I'm assuming it wants us to take it home. So let's go ahead and turn on the car. And let's get the heck out of here. 
Um, I think this is probably the quickest way out. And we'll go home. Okay, so send the box via Black Bay. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. That was the name I was thinking of. Uh, Black Bay... Art? Was it... Other? Shady Box. There we go. Let's go ahead and put that one in. Now, we did have the radio as well. We go ahead and sell the radio for $50. So he's just taking it down to the uh, the pawn shop. And let's go ahead. Oh, Vinny, go away. The Lombardis think their friend on Greenview needs a new window. But they think the one they got's fine. Go prove them wrong. Right, so this one is another vandalism job. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I'm going to go ahead and get all the tutorial stuff out of the way. And I'll do another video of actual, the in-depth thief stuff when you actually go into people's houses that you choose and do all that stuff, uh, sort of stuff. But yeah, this has been Thief Simulator. Once again, this is the first, like, we're still doing all the uh, tutorial stuff, which is why things are a little bit slow. But like I said, when I get all the tutorial stuff out of the way, I will go ahead and um, go ahead and do another video on this so you guys can see the actual gameplay itself. But thank you very much for joining me. If you did enjoy, please pass Please tap that thumbs up button, it really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back.